This tube is a micromotor. It's cruising around this water bath, grabbing up pollutants. What makes this swimmer unique is that, unlike many previous micromotors, this one is made without expensive precious metals. Micromachines that react with fuel in their environment could one day perform microscopic tasks like cleaning polluted wastewater. Typically, these micromotors use a photocatalyst, like titanium dioxide, to generate fuel from their environment. When light, usually ultraviolet light, hits them, they undergo reactions with their surroundings that emit a stream of gas bubbles. Researchers typically coat one side of the motor with a thin layer of gold or platinum as a catalyst, so the bubbles propel the motor in a specific direction. Now, a team led by researchers at the University of Chemistry and Technology Prague has made a simple, metal-free micromotor that jets around under visible rather than ultraviolet light. This approach could lower the costs of mass-producing the micromotors, the researchers say. The team's motors are tiny tubes of graphitic carbon nitride, a nitrogen-containing variant of graphite made from inexpensive melamine. Visible light excites electrons in the material, and these electrons react with hydrogen peroxide in the surrounding solution, breaking it down into water and oxygen. Oxygen bubbles that form inside the tube are expelled from one end, propelling the micromotor forward. Researchers can control the tube's motion by turning a light off and on again. And the material is fluorescent, unlike metal-based versions, making it easy to track these new micromotors in solution. The research team showed that the surface of their micromotors absorbs heavy metals like lead, copper, and cadmium. The researchers hope fleets of the micromachines could one day clean water polluted by these heavy metals. The tubes could be powered by sunlight and some peroxide added to the contaminated water. Nanomotor developer Jin Yao Tang of the University of Hong Kong said that the easily scalable synthesis and lack of expensive noble metals makes the work a promising step toward large-scale application of micromachines.